I'm at a real bad pain in my stomach here. I couldn't eat. I honestly thought it was an ulcer. It wasn't real bad, but it got worse and I, I couldn't stand it anymore. Kevin went in for a scope of a gastrointestinal scope to see what was going on. And he was only under and gone into the procedure, I'd say maybe five or 10 minutes. And the doctor came in almost immediately following. When I woke up, they told me I had esophageal cancer. Even though we had it maybe an inkling that it could be, you just try to hope that it's not. It was stage three. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. I mean, my first thought was, no, this can't be because he, I need him, my family needs him. I didn't want to know a whole lot about it. I just wanted them to fix me. We were sent to Lehigh Valley Health Network with the oncology department. Within like 48 hours, we had another scope. Um, we met with Dr. Khalil. Within eight days, I was in radiation, chemotherapy, and uh, then we went to surgery. Mr. Krumer had a, um, a very aggressive um, GI junction tumor, which is uh, at the area between the esophagus and the stomach. Uh, a preoperative treatment has recently been um, uh, accepted as a, a routine approach for patients with upper GI malignancies. He received two agents, uh, one is called carboplatin, the other one is called paclitaxel. He received those on a weekly basis along with radiation therapy Monday to Friday for five and a half weeks. It took some convincing because he was very scared when they started saying about what they would do and how they were gonna cut. They uh, actually cut me here and they position the stomach and then they sew you up, and roll you over and cut you from your shoulder down to your rib cage and take one rib out. They took two thirds of my esophagus and a third of my stomach and then moved my stomach up and hooked me back up. They put the rib back in too, by the way. So I'm not missing a rib. He was enrolled after surgery on a clinical trial uh, to evaluate the role of, uh, of immunotherapy. This has been the new strategy that uh, the whole world is looking into immunotherapy as an uh, exciting uh, novel approach for cancer. I had a choice of do nothing and get scanned every six months, three months of chemo, or I qualified for this clinical trial. Is immunotherapy trial. Clinical trials are important because they're the future. The end goal, of course, is to find a cure. There was a point where he was like, I don't, I don't think I can do this. I'm not going to do this. And he became determined after learning that if he does this, there is a good chance that he could survive and continue doing what he loves. In the clinical trial, you don't know if you're getting a drug or not. You could be getting a placebo, but I have some of the side effects so we're figuring we're getting the, the real drug. But nobody knows that until the end of the trial. He is doing very well with this approach. The particular thing about uh, Kevin that he decided that this is not will limit his life and he's moving on. He's actually uh, m making uh, every effort possible to impact others' life and to make sure that the message come across that uh, don't give in to cancer. His first time back in the race car was amazing. And they recognized him, and the people gave him a standing ovation. They had him do a parade lap. It's just so touching. I've met a lot of people through this that are not fortunate, so we decided to, to do, figure out a way that we could partner with, with Leah Valley Health Network and donate money back, raise funds, however we had to do it, and it helps somebody that's not as fortunate as I am. He's different. He's different in a positive way. He's more determined to do things and to get out more. He's constantly talking to people and connecting with people and offering himself and his background and knowledge of what he's been through to everyone and would like to give back. Kevin and Kelly are amazing. The fact that they want to give back and to this extent too, you know, they're not just doing something simple. They want to stay involved and continue to give back and that says a lot about who they are. Where we're at, we are right back where we were before we knew he had cancer. We're doing everything and even more. Got my grandson. Um, <clears throat> I got a granddaughter. <clears throat> and uh, I got a lot to do yet. 
Got a lot of racing to do, guys. I'm pretty sure I got to be. He's a survivor. 